hello guys good morning or good evening to everyone uh, in this tutorial we will see how do we create a ps file or a flat files so uh, when I talking when I'm talking about the ps file so we have two different kinds of files here one is a fixed block file and other is a variable block file so when I say fixed block that means the length is fixed the record length is fixed inside the file when I say a variable block you can understand by the name itself that means the record length will vary by record wise record wise so first what we'll do is first we'll create a uh, fixed block file uh, then later we'll be creating a uh, variable block file so this video is about uh, creating a video of uh, uh, fixed block file so as usual as we know so there are three important statements that we need to consider when you're writing a JCL the first one is about the job next one is exec then next uh, DD statements so job will have all the job related information so you can see a uh, job accounting information and uh, the description or the programmer name you can see and after this if you want to write a comment here so you can start a comment here by making this uh, I can write the stars here then I wanted to make it some design then I can give some description here so this JCL is to create a PS file okay then close this okay then I'm coming here I can say fixed block file FB that is fixed block Okay, so we are using at the exec statement. So this is used to call the program that can be a system defined or user defined or it can be a proc. So here I'm using a system defined program that is IEFPR14. This is the utility. Uh, so using this utility, we can create a PS file. Then coming back to here, uh, DD statement. So I'm giving the file name as this. So input dot fixed block then disposition parameter new catalog delete data set organization ps record format is fb so you need to mention here it has fb if you are creating a fixed block file then a record length should be 80 i'm giving it as a 80 or 23 you can give anything so block size i can always let us always to give it a zero so that system can def take the block size by default so and we have another system defined DD names like sysprint, sysout, system. So sysprint, sysout are used to uh, give you a diagnostic message just related to these particular data sets about the status of how it was created and any other log messages related to these particular program that is IEFBR14 and it will display those messages and system whenever this is down and it, it will create the log of it. Okay. So now we will submit this JCL. Just uh, type SUB at the command prompt and just enter. So you can see uh, the job ID that is job 05767 has been submitted. And if I press enter, and you can also see that it ended at max CC as 0. Right. So if I want to go to this pool, if I want to check the messages, and if you, I can, I have to check it whether the file has been actually created or not. Just go to start. In the start, you can see NSDSF option. Type yes here. Then you can see a different option like active user, input queue, output queue, held output queue. Then here, just type ST so that it will go to the status of job. And this will be the latest job ID. And press question mark. And if you want to see the message log, you can see the message log here. And you can see all the information like when the job has been started and when the job has been ended then go back here and see the messages so you can see allocate to sysprint is out and system so message of memory has been allocated for this and there you can see the step 0 1 step was executed condition code is 0 that means our data set has been created successfully so just I'm trying to copy this by selecting and for typing control C on the keyboard and then go to start then type a 3 3 is a utility then 4 I want to see the list then you can type uh, paste it just enter 
and you can see the data set has been created and if you type yes it, it will show you the properties related to that particular data set management class storage class and you can see what kind of file it is it's a ps file and the block size and the record format is fixed block and the record length is 80 and the block size by default system has taken some default block size and uh, primary and secondary storage that is in tracks okay so this is how we create a fixed block and also uh, the properties can be seen in two different ways either typing yes here or you can just press f11 on the keyboard and you can see the different properties the tracks or the percentage of memory that you have utilized in this ps file and the data set organization record format just press f11 again and again and when it has been created and the date you can see at what date that has been created if you press F10 it will go forward and the backward F11 is for forward and F10 is for backward okay if you want to edit this uh, PS file just type E here and you can edit this PS file and I can enter some data and you can see the length of it and uh, you can see all these records so the maximum uh, line second code here is 72 you can see here and uh, you can type all the data here okay see it has you can see a, a 80 has the maximum length whatever we have coded here we have uh, taken 80 byte length so you can see the 80 byte record okay if you want to see the columns you can see the columns here and the, the columns will show you the length and the record so you can see 80 bytes has been successfully captured okay so this is the case for fixed block thank you for watching I will in the next video I'll be showing how do we create the variable block